A busy summer ahead for the city of Janesville and joining me today is the new president and CEO of Forward Janesville, Shar Hermanson. Shar, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me today. So you're in a, a new role here. Tell us a little bit about it and uh, I guess your goal to, to kind of be part of the city once again. Yeah, so I'm very excited to be a part of Forward Janesville and we're doing so many things. So many things have been happening since the closure of the GM plant mm -hmm. and we're really excited about the Woodman Center that's going to be opening next spring. It's going to be a sports and meeting and convention center for the community. It's something that you know, it's the largest project that Janesville's ever seen, mm -hmm. so we're really excited about that. Yeah, so Forward Janesville kind of works hand in hand with the uh, Visitors and Convention Bureau. Tell us, you know, for those who might not know the ins and outs, kind of what your role is helping local businesses be part of this community. Yeah, so what we are doing is we bring businesses together, we help them network, we help them, we want to understand what their goals are, and then we work with government and other agencies within Janesville to accomplish the goals of our business community. So simply, it's a way for businesses to have their voices heard. Mm -hmm. And there's so many small businesses that are thriving right now in Janesville, from restaurants, you know, downtown to shopping. Uh, shopping. Yes. So, you know, talk to me a little bit about that for those who don't get to Rock County every day. There is so much to appreciate. Well, you should come. If you haven't <laughs> been to Rock County, you should come because downtown there are boutiques, there's a steakhouse, there is... Um, uh, farmers market on Saturdays mm -hmm. that's extremely robust thousands of people are coming to the farmers market now uh, what else is going on we have the walking bridge pedestrian bridge mm -hmm. which is down there and you can see a lot of pictures prom pictures um, homecoming pictures yeah. yes that so. time of year for that yeah you have some events coming up with forward Janesville that will help you know support community events you know down the line tell us about some of those if people would like to get involved yeah so we have a treasure rotary gardens a lot of you have heard about that mm -hmm. and we are having a business after five on July 11th so we welcome everybody to come check out rotary gardens it's absolutely beautiful it's a great business networking opportunities. So if you want to learn more about what's happening in Janesville, please come to the Business After Five. And you are from Janesville. So do you, do you feel this special connection now being able to take on this new role and, and so be special. able to tell yeah. people about it? I was born in Janesville. My husband used to work at the GM plant. We were like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? <laughs> and now I have an opportunity to work with businesses that I've worked with for over 20 years and represent their needs uh, to the community. It's really special for me. So I'm very excited about that. A full circle moment, most yes. definitely. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us and telling us a little bit about the city of Janesville. And if you would like to learn more information about what Forward Janesville is doing, we'll have information on our website, wmtv15news.com.